Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you guys how I restored my 36 inch Blackstone grill. So today I'm going to use this wire brush and this brush attachment that goes to a drill. I'm going to start. Always wear eye protection when you're doing this. So here I'm basically just trying to get <clears throat> I'm trying to get all of the rust and everything else. You can see all the dust flying off of there. And I'm gonna, I'm not showing you the whole thing, but I basically went over all of it, made sure I got all the, just the junk and build up that, you know, happened from sitting outside for so long. Take my wire brush and get into those corners. And basically I'm just trying to get all of the, the nastiness and, and the rust. I don't want to dig too deep. I don't want to get into the actual uh, metal part. So I'm really looking just to take that top layer off because this thing's been seasoned before. Um, now that all the dust and stuff, I want to use a dry rag first and just kind of dust it off before I add uh, water, which I'm going to add next just to make sure I get it all off. All right, adding the water now. I'm going to move that around. I'm going to start off with uh, just an old rag that you're going to throw away because you're going to pick up, it's going to be nasty when you're done. But now that we got all the, the dust kind of knocked off, we're going to clean, try to get into that rust. And So I'll put some soap on there and I'm going to use my wire brush and, and, a, and that same rag. Get it scrubbed nice and good. Just really get in there. You want to make sure you, you clean. This is the cleaning part of it. I had to empty out my, uh, my drain pan when I was done. Add some water. Let's get the rest of that. Looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to come back with a dry rag. Once you heat it up, it's going to dry off anyway. So this is what it looks like. A lot smoother. Uh, you might still see rust at this point, but it's okay. Because we're going to add another layer of protective coating with the new oil. <clears throat> get that as hot as you can get it. Once it is really hot, you want to add some oil. I just made some silly designs to get that oil completely spread out. And you're going to want it to smoke. Once it starts smoking, let it go. It's okay if that oil burns. It doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to use paper towels. And I have a scraper. And I'm going to get all the excess oil off. Once that cooks down, I'm going to let it cook for another five minutes after I got all the oil off. And once you turn it off and it cools, it will be ready to go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it helped, you know, give me a like and follow. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs. So I greatly appreciate your help. Have a blessed day.